Hola, 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 mis amores, ¿cómo están? ¿Cómo están haciendo? Feliz domingo, feliz domingo, feliz domingo. Um, happy, happy Sunday. How are you doing today? So, so happy to have you join me today. So, breaking news, breaking news. Before we get into the news, do me a favor and please hit that like button. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button for your girl. I am so, so happy to see the group growing. So, go ahead and join the group, the IPGG uh, group. Uh, we would love to have you, love to see you here. Um, and again, go ahead and hit that like button, smash that subscribe button as well, and leave your comments below. I would love to know your thoughts and what you think. All right, so let's get into this story, y'all. So breaking news, there's another girl that has claims, um, especially against Dee Dee and Aaron Hall. And there is a video, an old video that has resurfaced uh, where I believe it's Aaron Hall ta talking, or is it Uncle Luke, Luke talking? One of the, those two. We're about to watch it here in just a second. And he literally describes in detail um, some some of the horrid things that they do to to these girls, right? And it, it's 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 quite insane. Everything that keeps coming up on this story. So let's go ahead and watch this and and and. Um, See what what exactly is going on here. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you are Diddy, your day is probably getting worse and worse and worse. If you are Aaron Hall, you about to be on the next episode of to, to Catch a Predator. And if you are Uncle Luke, you need to sit down and be quiet. Y'all, the arrogance of these men in hip hop, it's just... It's, it's groundbreaking. Cassie basically started a Me Too movement, okay? If you guys don't know, Diddy has been hit with a bunch of charges. I personally think they're all true, but, you know, we'll wait for a court of law and discovery because I know more skeletons are probably going to fall out the closet. Girl, I think, th I think it's true, too. I think the whole thing is true. Yes, girl. I believe it 100%. There is no reason for me not to believe it. The amount of detail, all the rumors for years, and now everything, the whole thing is, is, is crumbling right on top of their heads. But anyway, in all that, one of the more interesting that happened was Diddy's stench rubbed off on crusty, musty, all the way dusty Aaron Hall. In between him bragging about, I like the F in public, y'all, cupcake, right? Just acting like, ugh, right? Because he was doing this all showboating and bravado, because apparently all he got to offer is some hard D and bubblegum, and he fresh out of bubblegum, right? Um, he basically confirmed that what the victim said in the lawsuit against D Diddy, that they were running trains on them and switching teams and tag teaming and Eiffel Towering, like whatever else, th th those situations actually happened. All now they need to prove is whether it was consensual or not. The victim says they were not. Puffy says they were. The victims have proof that they were not. Puffy don't got no proof that they were. Aaron Hall basically <laughs> did did he in by proving there was validity to everything that was said. But another thing that came out was in between Aaron Hall thinking he's swinging his thing around because that's all he got to offer while he waiting for Devontae and Jodeci and Puffy to sit there and watch him work. I'm just saying, baby, just come out the closet, cupcake. Ain't no need to lie. You don't got to lie to kick it. Stop putting these women through these things when obviously it's the men that's looking at you that you really want their approval and validation. But that's neither here nor like for real that's what i've been saying in all my videos that's what irks me the most that is what really 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 pisses me off it's like sir you are literally gay so what does that mean well that means that you are pur purposefully putting women in harm's way using them as objects to cover up whatever it is that you think you have to cover up in 2023 when no one even cares it's like, can we, can you, can you find some dignity from somewhere? Can you find some honesty from somewhere, please? You, you don't even know where you would, you would have to make the first turn to find that, do you? Y'all, I could go on a rant about, uh, about this 
all the things that these animals do and then they will like get a bunch of females and have the females just standing in front of the houses and stuff when they inside the house inside the rooms with a bunch of other males do we look like objects to you why are women your only way of flexing i don't understand so you want to put other people in harm's way you want to put women in harm's way, and then the public will turn around and start harassing the woman, not knowing that you are the true evil. And you all you did was push her in front of the bus. I can't. No, there. So one of the things that came out was Luke. Basically, Uncle Luke was like, yo, you know, Aaron Hall saying this, that, blah, blah. I'm the one that introduced him to his wife. Aaron Hall then just went on the grossest tirade above y'all. He didn't introduce me to anybody. I saw a tall five, eight blonde woman and I took her upstairs. I grabbed her by the hand and left. So Gloria Alves, if you don't know, she is a video vixen. Now she is an author, a mom of whatever. She is one of the women that survived the 90s and that whole video thing when it was like buck wild and there wasn't no Instagram and it wasn't this and it wasn't that, okay? Now, Gloria posted, if you don't think grooming is happening in this business, you're sadly mistaken. It started in 1994 with Luke and a few others in this business. I was in high school. She put South Florida 1993-94 teen clubs where were the pe Pedialyte men scouted and groomed. I was their playground. Wow. All right. These are very, very serious. You hear what she said? She said, I was their playground. Grooming since 1993. I can't, I can't even wrap my head around it, what they've turned Hollywood into. So you mean to tell me it hasn't always been this way? The whole Hollywood, in my opinion, at this point is totally, completely contaminated. The whole place needs to go. Celebrities need to go. We need to eradicate the word celebrity because they are worse. They're not even, they can't even live up to the same things that we normal regular people live up to they are literally down in the dirt far be like for, way all the way all the way down there also by the way side note i can't i just can't believe how gorgeous cassie is like i cannot like she i mean she ugh, gorgeous this accusation she made i 100 percent believe her believe her but you know what the interesting thing is right she even put i look like a baby the thing that made this most interesting and really really gross to me was the fact that luke came out with this arrogance and there's a bunch of people defending him i don't know what it is about society that if somebody can make a cute bop or a two-step y'all be defending them like y'all know where they're like where they're like la la why they're <laughs> anyway right exactly it's like, okay, just because they make a catchy tune or something, like all of a sudden you're like ride or die. Thursday. Like we need to use a lot more discernment because these, these people in Hollywood, these males, particularly these males in Hollywood are literally pure evil, pure evil. I don't want to be bopping my head to nothing that comes out of there. Let's just get back into this. So here is Luke's answer. And baby, make me after a jump. Because while you're listening to this, keep two things in mind. Two things in mind. One, Luke himself said that he introduced 16-year-old Gloria to Aaron Hall. If you were not grooming people, if you were not passing people around, if you were not engaging in on a certain level behavior that you would not exhibit it on your daughter, your sister, your mom, or any woman you actually care about, then how did you just not prove what Gloria said was true? What were you doing hanging out with a 16-year-old? How are you so cool with...
the 16 year old that you introduced her to one 16 years old in all my videos i keep calling this out what does a a, a a first of all 16 years old that that at the very least illegal illegal i think the minimum age needs to needs to be 27 28 years old for women because these males are too predatory they're animals they're disgusting they have no ethics they have no morals cassie was 19. Didi was close to 40. you tell me what a close to 40 year old may male what business does he have with a 19 year old animal disgusting behavior one of your 30 year old men friends you know what time aaron was on you know what f shit aaron was on y'all used to do this back and forth to see who could pull the more, more girls why were you introducing her for bible study oh let me oh but you know what listen to what luke has to say and then i'll hit you on the way back i don't even know what they're fucking grooming me grooming the fuck is grooming they had to explain that to me y'all got the right one I don't have no problem going to court. I'm not Russell Simmons. I'm not them other people. Now, really quick before we get into the rest of his video, because, yeah, I have comments, right? You don't know what grooming. You don't know what grooming means. You see. The the stupidity. Like you, they think the public is stupid. You want me to believe that you don't know what grooming is. So the arrogance, right? You sitting in front of the camera, you eating, you old, ugly, wrinkled. Like, don't, I can't, I cannot. I don't even have the words. You don't know what grooming is. But you reside in Hollywood, sir. <laughs> also, y'all notice that all these black males Oh, sorry. I said that backwards. All these males are black. There have been other races, and I, I made videos on, on those, actually, that caught lawsuits as well. But why are so many of them black? I don't know. I feel like that's something to think about. It means man shut up he literally said no no luke don't get down like that baby keep your convention on your baby daddy before you get a defamation suit you mean the same man that you introduced her to anyway luke went on to say everyone around me i encourage them to be great better businessmen better women better parents better community servants i have a long list of individuals uh for me that are mult that work for me that are multi-millionaires but we're not talking about your workers and your employees uncle luke oh but it wasn't over gloria said just 18 years old here she put a picture up of herself with a veteran already in the game and then she tagged uncle luke the last time we've actually seen each other in person or on the phone was when i was 19 years old a lot has been said throughout the years maybe soon it's time to sit down and talk like adults i'm not a child anymore i'm 44 now right so then ridiculous she said i'm not a child now y'all these 18 19 year old 20 year olds 21 year olds 22 year olds they are children when I think back at being that age, I didn't know jack squat. I thought everything was roses and rainbows out here. We aren't doing enough to protect them from males. Males are predatory. They are animals. This is what they do. He said, she said, he said back then that's my girl love gloria now the interesting thing about this is these were comments 
that Luke put up May 13th. So May 13th, when she was talking about grooming and whatnot, you're like, oh, it's all love. Now you up there talking about you suing for defamation. Yeah, okay. Anyway, before we get back into Luke's video, because he had more to say, which was laugh. I'm confused about that too. That's my girl, all love. Now all of a sudden you like, uh, grooming, I don't know what that is. Blah, 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 blah. What did you think she meant when she said, I'm not a child anymore? What did you think that meant? You did not process through what she was actually telling you with that post. You abuser from the pit of hell. Affable. Gloria jumped in the comments and somebody said, survive and Luke on. Allegedly. I got to say that, that allegedly. Of course, all of this. Is still going through the courts, y'all. Although I believe it 100%. Lifetime. And she said, I laughed hard at this because those words couldn't be more true. Though through all of it, through all that I've been through, I'm blessed to have a sane mind. And then Gloria hit him with a Bible scripture. She literally said, Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Y'all, now keep that in mind as you listen to the rest of Luke's rant. Hold on, let's go. I don't do that. I'm very, I know my brand. My brand is Luke. Hey, we want some pussy. Face down. So that's what like me so horny. The problem is when you know your brand and you know what you're when you know what you're singing about, you subject yourself to be in that kind of trap faster. So what you have to do is really not be about what those songs is talking about because you can get yourself jammed up. I video everything. I video everything. Everybody sign releases. I do shows. Ain't no underage people be doing no show with me. I fire girls. You get caught. Uh, oh, she was, I have. Chaperone for the girls, a one head dancer. It's always one head dancer. And she put everybody in check. So you doing, I'm not, this is not a traveling whorehouse. So you gonna mess around with these other artists, you're gonna get sent home, sweetheart. You get fired. Now, first of all, right? Can we just say one thing? Luke, did you in any way explain why you were passing off a 16-year-old girl who you were friends with enough to introduce her to your 30-year-old male friend? What was that doing? What were you doing? Can he passed her over at 16 to a 30-year-old male, and now he wants to wash his hands clean. I didn't do nothing. No one that works with me uh, is underage. No one that ever worked with me. It, you are guilty as an accomplice. Do you realize accomplices can also get jail time? You want to tell me, you want to tell the public that what we need to believe is that you didn't know what was going on. I didn't even hear him deny it not one time that he introduced a 16-year-old to this 30-year-old animal. I, somebody had to explain to me what grooming was. Baby, just because you don't know what it means does not mean that you, that you did not engage in it. Let me use that next time. What? Somebody got to explain what robbing a bank means to me. I don't know what robbing a bank is. I just walked in, pulled out that. They don't got no vocabulary. Oh, I don't know what group it is. Oh, what, 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 what's it? what is that? You know exactly what we're, t we're talking about. You know exactly what we're talking about. 
especially once it was explained to you, you know what we talking about. What are you lying? And she's right. Just because you don't know what the word, what meaning was associated or is associated with the word does not mean that you haven't been doing it this whole time. And it certainly does not mean that you don't know the difference between right and wrong. It's been against the law to mess around with an underage child. She was 15, 16 years old. You knew that. And you still passed her over to a 30-year-old, allegedly. You don't need a word for that. You already know that set behavior and action is illegal. And you are guilty by association. The hammer said, give me all your money and then went and bought a gate. What's all this robbery stuff? You try it, baby. Just because you don't know the meaning of it does it mean it doesn't exist and honestly it scares me that you don't know the meaning of it because that was again can you explain to me and for all the people being like what was she doing in somebody's face at 15 or 16 where were her parents being bad parents does that mean that because somebody got bad, bad parents that you can literally pass them off to your build a friendship with them and then pass them off? i'm sick of that too this is what i mean these males destroy women on purpose then they send them out to take the blows and the bullets from the public for them for their behavior can you imagine the public now saying well what was she doing there blah, 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 blah. as if that makes the behavior any less illegal you see how that doesn't make sense you see why I think that the age limit by law should be increased to at least 27 years old, 27 years old, to keep as many as these animals away as possible. Because we can see that even having it at 18 years old, they still don't mind crossing the, crossing the line. So the, even the law is barely keeping some of them away. So we need to increase the limit. Come off to your 30 year old friend. Does it? Cause you got bad parents. Cause if that's the case, half the people listen to this thoughts and prayers. Let's be real. Oh, well, you know, um, you know, people being like, what was she doing out there at 15, 16 years? I wasn't in people's faces. Okay, what's she doing out there? Being dumb, being stupid, being grown, thinking she know everything, being stupid like every 15 and 16 year old man and woman. Explain to me how you can't even sign off on a contract legally, a legally binding contract that um, if you're under 18, it needs to be ratified with your 18. How is it that now we are sitting there being, what were you doing out there? When are we going to start keeping the monsters in check? Why is it that we sit there and ask, why'd you let the monster eat you? Excuse me, is anyone going to get the monster? It's ridiculous. It literally is ridiculous. And it's always a, ma a, a male ruining a woman. And then the world turns against the woman. Males literally hate women. And then they wonder why across the world, birth rates are deteriorating at the quickest rate we've ever seen. Because women are choosing to no longer give birth. You don't even like women. Why would they sacrifice their life and their bodies to keep rep reproducing you? It makes no sense. The male took advantage of her, assused her, and the public 
now has the audacity to say, oh, what were you doing there? You asking a 16 year old what she was doing there? You asking a 16 year old why she wanted to be a star and famous and glitzy and what wanted money and fame? She was 16. Boy, I'm about to have, oh, I can't, I cannot. Monsters, again, Luke's saying all this, you videotape, and here's the thing that, in my opinion, was unsaid. She ain't talking to me. I videotape everything. I do this. I do that. That's not my brand. If anybody does this, they fired. Okay, first of all, let me explain something to Luke. Luke, it is illegal to fire an employee because of what they do in their personal life. I repeat, it is illegal to fire an employee because of the way they choose to express themselves in their off time. So already, if I was a lawyer, that's one lawsuit. And what you're saying is true, and you fire dancers for being too grown and all this other mess, that's illegal. Second of all, you tape everything. See, the skeptic in me would say this. Don't the, Luke was of the age where there wasn't cell phone cameras, the camcorders were the big, big camcorders. How did I know? I Googled it. The camera, so if there was a camera, you couldn't easily just walk it. And cameras were super expensive also. Ask yourself this even in this day and age. Why does somebody tape everything? No, literally, why does somebody tape everything? Ah, I know why. Because usually when people start getting very protective about taping everything, writing everything, they've already been burned. He says he taped everything. Don't nobody tape everything. So you mean to tell me that every, and you had people sign NDAs when y'all started off, y'all did. I think he taped everything, had people sign NDAs because he knew. And he didn't want to get burned. I don't know that he's been burnt before, but I think what it is, is he knows and knew exactly what was happening. And so he was doing those things so he could protect himself in case anything goes wrong in, in this whole dynamic that they have going on here. He knew, guilty by association. That's what I believe. I 100% believe it. I, I, that's why, because from a business perspective, when you start seeing that, that's when you start doing things like that. Like you, you see the next person get sued for this, or you see this guy doing this, and you know that's illegal. You're gonna start protecting yourself. You're gonna start filming things. You're gonna start having making sure people sign NDAs and blah, blah, blah. So if all of this is true, which I believe it is, I believe he knew exactly what was going on. So who's worse? The perpetrator or the person that knew exactly what was going on and said and did nothing? Allegedly. Didn't even have lawyers. So where were these NDAs coming from? Ah, or is it that y'all already got hemmed up in a few lawsuits? You got legal counsel and then your legal counsel proceeded to tell you how to move and operate over the next 10 years. That's again, That's to me, when yes, I believe that that makes sense to me, girl. That makes sense to me, girl. When I hear somebody, I tape everything. Everybody signed NDAs. When y'all was first starting off and y'all didn't even know y'all was going to be big, didn't nobody have NDAs on one. So something happened. Third of all, you still have, you talking about you sue for defamation. All right. All right. So sue. So sue. Sue for defamation. Yeah, right. He ain't going to do nothing. And if he does, that just makes him look so dumb. It would be the dumbest decision he ever made. Because that would open a whole nother can of worms. Because you know what? what's going to happen? She's going to counter sue. And now we have another lawsuit that we can use to further dive into what is going on over there in Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. That I'm telling y'all that that whole place needs to go. It needs a complete cleanse, clean, clean out. We need to eat. We need to rename it. <laughs> I mean, it's done. They came in. 
ruined the whole place. Again, I'm not saying that he's a Russell Simmons. I'm not saying this and that. I am saying that people really, really appreciate that they could do a cute kitty bot two-step to his songs and they somehow act like they know him as a person when at the end of the day, I don't understand why people be going up for their favorite artists so much. You don't know them. Just because you can make a two-step does not mean that I will want anybody I love around anybody like i said before would you want anyone you love introducing your 15 16 year old daughter sister mother son to a 30 year old person that then takes them upstairs and again how did you build this relationship with this i 100 percent believe gloria Vellas. i 100 percent believe what she's saying i want i believe her too why would she lie about that that ridiculous ridiculous Young people, stay away from this place. Women especially, particularly, specifically women, stay away from Hollywood. They are psycho over there. Psycho is an understatement. Percent of reckoning is upon us. I 100% they people think and know that there is grooming in the industry. But again, I just want to say this to Luke. He's looking this and that. He's doing that. Maybe he is a good guy. Maybe he does promote crazy, crazy, crazy things. But as long as they're all consensual, right? It's grown and sexy. But I will say to his arrogance, baby, they took Puff down. I hope for his sake, all of that me mugging and looking in the camera, I hope for his sake that he is actually covered. Because, baby, don't forget. NDAs do not last against criminal things. Ask Cassie. She'll tell you. Matter of fact, ask Diddy. He'll tell you. Anyway, y'all, let me know what you think in the comments. Yes, yeah, so arrogant. Oh, I got all these papers signed and da 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 da. When I know, I don't believe him. I know he knew exactly what was happening. There is no way and no world in which he can claim deniability by absence of knowledge. There is no way. I cannot see that happening. He is literally in the industry. Not to mention, from what it sounds like, he's the one that introduced her to that animal and passed her over. I believe he knew exactly what was happening. And in case he didn't know, you, could, you can go to jail for that, for being associated with it, knowing about it, and doing nothing. And then on top of that, participating in the form of passing girls off and then trying to tell me you don't know what the meaning of grooming is. Sir, goodbye. So these are the things, these are the new information that are, that's coming up, y'all. Um, so these information is just kind of coming up. So allegedly, we're, we'll keep our eye out on these stories. Got to say the allegedly, even though I believe 100%. Everything that these women are coming out and, and saying and speaking. But we'll see how the these cases continue to, to uh, move forward and progress. But go ahead and hit the like button for me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and leave your comments below. I want to hear what you think and what your thoughts are. All right. Thanks. I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Bye.